Hi there, and welcome to Teaching Smarter. If it's your first time with us, we welcome you for the first time. If you've used us before, once or twice or hopefully a hundred times, uh, we're glad you're back. Today's lesson is going to be a geometry lesson. And in the geometry curriculum, you've got a whole bunch of different terms, as you can see on your screen. The one that we're going to focus on will be angles, right in here and specifically on identifying angles and measuring angles. Now all of the lessons that we do are based out of the Ontario curriculum, Ontario Canada, and in the Ontario mathematics curriculum in the geometry strand in grades 4 you have identifying acute and right angles up here. In grade 5 students need to identify acute right and obtuse angles and they need to begin measuring with a protractor angles up to 90 degrees. Grade 5 is the first time that the protractor comes out. And in grade 6, students need to identify and measure all three of them. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, use Google Earth to help us with the lesson. This is one of the, my favorite lessons that I get to teach inside the classroom uh, to either grade five or six students. Now Google Earth is a great tool uh, for any teacher to use, but um, I find it really helpful when I teach math and uh, I'll show you why. Now this here is Ontario and we are f recording right down in here in uh, the Durham region, but we're going to jump from Ontario all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to Italy. And there's a small town in Italy called Pisa. And inside the city of Pisa, you have up here the very important soccer stadium. But it's these three buildings here that I want to I want to use for today. So we're going to zoom in just a little bit here. And these three buildings are, are central, right in the middle of town. You have a baptistry here. In the middle you have a cathedral. And right over here you have a bell tower. Now the bell tower served uh, for the cathedral when it was time for church. They would sound the bell tower and the whole town would know that uh, church is starting. So the bell tower is important, the cathedral is important, and the baptistry to your left right over here is very important as well. Now these uh, buildings were built uh, in medieval times. The bell tower is the one that we're going to focus on. It was started in 1173 and it took nearly 200 years to complete. It's pretty amazing. You, know, you can't see very well from above but there's something wrong with this bell tower. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our little street view guy here. We're going to zoom him down to anywhere you see a blue line is where you can drop this little guy. So we'll stick him right here. And we're going to zoom in. And you can see a view of the baptistry here. Now let's uh, zoom to our east. or I guess it would be west, not sure. And there's the bell tower. This is the main cathedral here, and there's the bell tower. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit here, and you can see that this bell tower is actually falling over, which is pretty cool. I mean, when you think about it, you've got a, a building that's um, 150 feet high, and it's slowly over the last 950 years been falling over. What we're going to do today is we're going to use angles and we're going to measure how many degrees this, ang this building sorry, has fallen over. So we'll go back into our Smart Notebook program. We're going to get our camera. We'll zip back over here and we're going to highlight this screen. We're going to click and we've got our photo. We're going to go back into our program and it should magically appear with the click of a button. 
Ta-da! Okay, so we are going to measure this building by creating an angle first. Now we're going to go down to where these little people are down here and we've got our line highlighted. We're going to go up the side of the building and we'll move it over just a little bit. There we go. Now we need to make a baseline and the baseline is challenging. We'll go down to the starting point again and what you'll see is when we get close when the line straightens out you're gonna see it jump in. Okay see that? So we'll zoom over just a little bit and it clicks into place. Okay now we've got a, a straight vertical line. We're going to click this guy and this guy and we're going to group them together and now we've got an angle alright and we can play with this angle a little bit we're going to drop it down straight and I'm going to go over and get a protractor okay now as I am pulling out the protractor uh, this is going to be a point in the lesson for you to do some participation okay so let's sit back over here and I'm going to punch in protractor I'm going to grab my protractor bring it over to the screen and the question that I want to ask you is looking at this angle here what type of angle do you see name it for me is it an acute angle, an obtuse angle, or a right angle? Okay. Now that you've named it, I want you to estimate how many degrees you think that angle is. Right. Take a close look at it here. All right. We're going to drop it down, and we're going to take our protractor. We're going to flip the protractor around. And when we measure an angle, we take our uh, the baseline of the protractor, and there's an imaginary line that goes from 90 degrees down to the middle point. Okay, so we'll take our baseline, we'll bring our baseline down to the bottom, and then where the angle joins, right in here, the point of the angle, we need to line up the imaginary line. Okay, right there. So we've got a straight baseline, and now we're going to take our green dot, and we're going to bring it up, 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 and there we go. We'll click it. We'll get rid of this guy. Thank you for your service today. And there you go. You've got a an angle measuring five degrees. Now we'll flip this guy around. We'll make him a little bit bigger. And let's see if we're right. Bring them down to the bottom, the point, line up the side, and we have an angle of five degrees. Now let's find out if science agrees with us. Okay, so we're going to go back into Google Earth here. Or sorry, we're going to go into Google. I've punched in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We'll click on Wikipedia. You can see Wikipedia here. Okay. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, and here is a laser image created by a university. Okay, now you've got lots of different numbers here. Don't get bogged down by all the numbers. We're going to look at this here. So you've got your baseline, your straight vertical line. You've got the line that measures the side of the building, the angle of the building. And right up here, you've got the number of how many degrees it is. Can someone come up to the smart board and take a look and see what number that is? It is the number five. And if we go back over here, well, we have an angle of five degrees, which means we measured it correctly. So way to go, way to go. Now, um, I'm going to offer some homework for you, and teachers, you can choose to assign this to your classroom if you'd like. 
if you're watching this video at home you can go and do the homework just for fun um, what I want you to do is I want you to look around your house and I want you to either go on the internet or you can find a brochure you can find a poster and I want you to look for a building okay if you're gonna go on the internet I want you to print off the building if you're gonna use a brochure or a magazine make sure you ask permission but what I'd like you to do is to try and measure the angle or measure an angle on the building alright now a building's gonna have lots of different angles but I want you to choose one of them and with a protractor I want you to first identify then I want you to estimate how many degrees you think it is just like we did today and then I want you to actually go and measure it and see what you find out now it's a little challenging to make a baseline okay so I want the focus of the lesson not to be the focus of the homework not to be on getting it exact I just want you to practice alright so here's a picture of the pyramids I'm gonna take a straight line I'm gonna measure the side of the pyramid okay then I'm gonna take another line and you're gonna see it kick into place when it gets vertical okay just like that I'm gonna go over I'm gonna get my protractor here I'm gonna flip my oh, I'm gonna flip my protractor around I'm gonna measure the baseline here okay Okay, and we're going to zip it up, 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 and we have an angle of about 44, 43 degrees. Okay, and that's what you're trying to do. You're looking at buildings and the world around you, and you're practicing identifying, measuring angles. Estimating is important too. So anyways, thank you for watching. We really appreciate uh, you joining us. You can find all of our lessons online at Teaching Smarter. Remember that pixels affect perception. And uh, we hope that you've enjoyed the lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Teachers, um, the mission of Teaching Smarter is to provide lessons and resources for teachers to use technology to provide great lessons, lessons using technology. Uh, we believe that pixels affect perception and we also believe in the flipped classroom. Uh, we believe that it makes sense because it gives the great opportunity for teachers to have face time with your students. Instead of teaching a lesson for two-thirds of the period, have students watch the videos at home and come to school the next day having already been taught the lesson. Now you can zip around the classroom and you can help your students by guiding them rather than spending the time up at the front. By guiding them, you're able to sit next to them and have a lot more face time, which provides intimacy and it's a better learning process. If you're a smart board user or you don't have an actual smart board, but you do use the Smart Notebook program, this lesson along with many others is available in the Smart Exchange. Search for lessons authored by Teaching Smarter. And finally, you are encouraged to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate uh, you coming and viewing this lesson. Lessons are updated weekly, and uh, we are starting with grades 4 through 6, and we hope to get some lessons for grades 7 and 8 as well. Remember that pixels do affect perception, and we encourage you to teach smarter by giving your students more face time. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.